Justice governors have jointly decided to pitch their tent with the ruling All Progressive Congress, APC, in order to bring more development to the region. Hey! So by joining APC, you bring development. So it is APC that will bring development. So when you are in another party, they don't give you a location. So if you are in PDP, if you are in another party, you cannot create jobs, you cannot create, a, you can't be creative to bring development. You can't do things that will create a, or that will bring about development. Is that what these people are telling us? Is that what they are saying to bring development to the region? Well, Delhi Independence has exclusive, exclusively gathered. The region currently has five states with Imo and Ebo in states already among the states controlled by the ruling party. The question we should be even asking is that since uh, we have a uh, Imo state, we have a Boyu that has joined them. Now, which developments have they brought to a Boyu state? Which development has come to Imo state? Hey, why Hopu Zodima APC governorship candidates in the 2019 general elections became governor of Imo state through Supreme Court verdict in January 2020? Governor Devu Mai of Eboyu dumped the PDP for the APC in November 2020. Abia and Enugu are pre presently controlled by the PDP while Anambra belongs to the All Progressive Grand Alliance, APGA. There are reports that Governor Keze Pazu of Abia says we soon dump the PDP for APC any moment from now. Why there are also speculations that its counterparts in Enugu states, Emeka Uguayin, is also plotting to do the same. A member of the Keteka Extraordinary Convention Planning Committee chaired by the governor of Yobe State, Mimala Boni, revealed that Ikbazu's delayed defection to APC is as a result of the disagreement between him and Oju Zokalu, the Senate Chief Whip, who also doubles as the chairman of the APC caucus in Abia. The disagreement between the duo is centered on who becomes the party leader of APC in Abia State if Ikbazu eventually joins the party. He however said the deal has been sealed following the peaceful truce reached between Kalu and Ikbazu, adding that Abia State Governor will formally be received into our party any moment from now. In Enugu, Delhi Independence gathered that Governor Iguayi, who is also having a running battle with Senator Ike Ikwere Madu, former deputy senate president may soon be on his way out of pdp he said the desire of equere madu who with considerable influence in pdp to succeed the governor in 2023 has polarized the party in the states in anambra the apc is banking on winning the november 6th governorship election in the state while governor willie obiano who is seeking to have his anointed candidate succeed him is also in talks with the APC owing to the crisis that has almost crippled Abga in the states. Speaking with Delhi Independence, a member of the PDP board trustees from the southeast said he wouldn't be surprised if the remaining governors in the region join the APC. According to him, the PDP governors have severely Severally complained that the party which was in power for 16 years has not done much to benefit the region in terms of development, hence the need for them to form a block in the APC so as to accure, uh, accrue more benefits to the southeast from the center. Hmm. Governor Iquazu is almost 80% out of the PDP. Uguay is al also on his way out of out and we are patiently waiting for the direction the Anambra governorship election will take. With the crisis in Abga, I wouldn't be surprised if Willie Obiano declares for APC tomorrow. I know the Southeast governors have always complained that APC has done more for them in less than six years than what PDP did in 16 years, and they were also decided they have also decided to join the party. In block so as to attract more developments in the region in all the five states he said speaking with daily independence caller your pdp national public secretary 
who said no governor in the party from the South East has formally informed the party that he wants to join the APC. However, said governors defecting from PDP to APC are being intimidated into doing so. He said the three governors that recently left the party have issues with the federal government and are being challenged internally by what they have committed themselves into. They have moved to the other side because of the intimidation that is coming from the party in government. If you listen to all the three governors that have left the party, none of them has said that he has a problem with the leadership of the party, he said. All of them now. Now, Koboko, they will chop, come back. So, does it mean if they have a... Okay, they are saying... Because they should not tell us that... Uh, so that they will be able to win a, a, for the party in the next election. Because uh, their people will pay them back. Because they are not the ones that will go and... That will go and do what... That will go and vote. The people will still do their voting. We could remember... Or your state was an APC... APC state. But what happened? <laughs> people... People didn't vote for APC. The same thing happened in Ondo State. The same thing happened in Edo State. So what are we talking about? <laughs> you now think uh, the people of uh, Cross River State now they will not go and vote for APC? Like seriously? <laughs> even the the, the the Southeast people in the first place, <laughs> how many of them? Even with them, how many of them we we do even we even want APC with this one? But they are talking about development. Which de development has even come to that region now? But the people who are dying as a result of ESME, the same government that is that has that brought them, and you didn't say anything because it does not affect your family members. I I, I wish I wish uh, all of them should just go to APC. All the PDP governors, let them go to APC. They are just deceiving themselves. They are deceiving themselves. After all, Saraki and the likes of a. Uh, didn't they lie? Didn't they go to APC? Did they not come back? What did they bring back? Is it not shame and disgrace? So is that what they want to be used to, to be deceiving Nigerians? That would be their doom. How many people have left the Republican Party for the Democratic Party in the USA? It is only in Nigeria that people don't stay in the party of their choice and build it to into a very strong ones. I don't mind them. Their plans for defection is based purely on selfish reasons. Their personal interests overrides that of the state. It don't take where we begin here this kind of thing. No, be today. It don't take. Don't take where we. Make we see as it go to end at the end of the day. 